Uh, you know, it was it was a great effort by our guys. This is uh, oh, the third game in a row I think where defensively we've played well. Uh, uh, the central game we broke down in the last uh, in the last five or six minutes there, but up until then we had played well. And then Miami we played well defensively, and and then tonight we played well defensively again, and and that's been our biggest bugaboo, uh, you know, uh, here for a while. So if we could continue to defend like that, then we made just enough plays offensively. Uh, you know, to uh, uh, to get us over the hump. But uh, I thought it was a great effort. Held them to 39% from the floor. And, and um, uh, you know, we battled, uh, you know, there for the most part. And having five guys in double figures, it was a good balance attack. You know, it was really big. You know, we I, I didn't like our energy in the halftime locker room. Um, we were we were fine. Uh, nobody, we just weren't talkative. Uh, we, we didn't have a lot of energy. And, so got on the guys right before we went back out and warned them about the first four minutes, and sure enough, they owned us in the first four minutes. Um, but then we came back, you know, and, and uh, when they actually took a lead, I think uh, Brandon Johnson might have been the guy that hit the three, uh, you know, to get us back into it there. And, and uh, we had a group out there at one point in time with four freshmen, uh, you know, Jaron Randall and Jared Pretty and Brandon Johnson and Reggie Jones were all out there, I think, with Drake. Uh, and so it was, um, uh, and they played well. You know, we challenged them uh, and said it's time for you guys to stop losing leads and time for you to actually, to actually let's contribute to a lead instead of just playing minutes. You know, and I, I thought that uh, they were really good at it. Yeah, it was really big, you know, because Thomas, he rolled his ankle yesterday in practice, and so he wasn't at 100%. He'll be fine for Tuesday. And, and um, you know, we had to get, we had to get him some rest tonight. And then Reggie Jones had not practiced for the last two days uh, because of the flu. And so he had been real sick. We weren't sure if he was even going to be able to go tonight. And so for the other guys, and he played a little tired. I mean, he never is tired when he has the ball in his hands. He's ready to shoot it. But when, when uh, away from the ball, he played a little more fatigued. And he got, you know, he made a couple of reach fouls there at the end. I had to get him out defensively uh, a couple of possessions. He, he just... He was worn out, you know, but uh, for everybody else to play well around him, and we had some big putbacks and knocked down some free throws. Missed a couple, but knocked down some free throws. So it was a really good team win. Well, I mean, it's big in terms of the race because this is the MAC. You know, it's another year in the MAC, and everybody in the West now is within one game of each other, uh, you know, with six games left to play. And, uh, and then on the other side, you know, Akron only has one loss, but there's a couple of teams, I think, with uh, seven losses or six losses. I can't remember now. But we're all, we're all, there's a bunch of people bunched up here. And Bowling Green is one of that, one of that, uh, one of those teams. And so they come into here on Tuesday night. And I haven't studied them yet. I've seen them on film getting ready for other teams in the league. And it's another really well coached, Michael Huger does a terrific job, really well coached team and a very physical team, a very defensive-minded team uh, with some real good weapons out there. So um, we have a quick turnaround, and as our program's philosophy is, you, we got to get to the next possession. And the next possession for us is uh, practice tomorrow and getting ready for BG. Thanks, Thank you. Fight on.